Hello, hello, new day, new vlog. I wanted to share this beautiful place I am at in the middle of Paris, in the uh, seven arrondissement. This is actually part of the Sorbonne uh, University. And this is absolutely stunning. Very French architecture. And here you have a cathedral. Oh, and have you seen this little uh, uh, cafe here? How cute is this? Perfect place to enjoy your coffee between uh, different course. That's the other side of the building. And that's the back of the beautiful cathedral. Very massive and beautiful. And this area in Paris is super quiet, which is great. Still in the 7 arrondissement and I would like to share with you where I am exactly because in front of me, just here, this is the uh, Assemblée Nationale, which is part of the French Parliament. This is where uh, most of the law, French law, are voted. And it's located on a beautiful, cute uh, place. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. I guess French history was voted here. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. That's the front of uh, l'Assemblée Nationale. It's in a renovation mode. And after you have La Seine River. And the building you see just over there is Le Louvre Museum. This is where I am at Place de la Concorde, but on the other side, usually you don't come here. Usually you, you walk over there, but now I'm heading to l'Orangerie Museum. There's a secret path here, so you don't have to walk uh, uh, on the other side and cross over all the park. You can arrive here straight away at Musée de l'Orangerie. So that's the view on Place de la Concorde. And for now, I'm going here, Musée de l'Orangerie. <laughs> now I am inside the museum and I invite you to come with me to discover the North Yard from Claude Bonnet. Let's see that now. And that's the museum, by the way, with wide glass uh, window. second room still with Nafia but this room is a uh, is darker Nafia this one is beautiful the color I don't know if it represents dawn or sunset but uh, it's like uh, there's fire in the in the water or in the field Beautiful. So now we are downstairs and this is a permanent exhibition with painting from very well-known French painter. Those paintings are from Henri Rousseau, also called Le Douanier Rousseau. Maybe you heard this name before. He's very famous to have painted a tropical... Uh, uh, landscape painting and those one are from Marie Laurencin 
which is also a French painter. That's a woman, and she's uh, mostly very famous in Japan. But in France, we have also a few paintings here. So, Musée de l'Orangerie is finished. Ah, oh, you have the yeah, Eiffel Tower <laughs> on the back side. Look at this beautiful sky. The pink in the middle is amazing. We have little crow here. Hello, little crow. And on the other side, where the sunset is, more exactly, the other side with Place de la Concorde. Champs Elysees in front, and the Eiffel Tower just here with the sunset. This is so peaceful. In the evening, you have all the crowds. It's quite impressive. On one side, you have crows, and on another side, in the water, you have all the seagulls. It's just funny. I am crossing from one side to another side, Les Tuileries Garden. And I have to say, it's quite empty at the moment. And the atmosphere is quite amazing. Is that the Louvre over there? Little stop at Cafe Kitsune to take a hot chocolate to take away. And let's continue. So now you will uh, discover a very special exhibition that is very dear to me because it regroups different subjects. It talks about cinema, history, French history and uh, fashion. The subject is about the costume Isabelle Adjani, the French actress, was wearing during her different movies and especially the one that was on French TV few days ago and it's called Diane de Poitiers and so they showcase the costume, the sketches, the picture. I just visited now and uh, this is absolutely stunning. I'm like blown away because I love the three subjects and I love the history of costume as well so this was perfect for me to remind me the history of uh, costume from Renaissance you know. So I let you watch the following exhibition now. This beautiful costume was made for the theater play Marie Stewart and uh, it was played uh, in a French theater. Isabella Gianni was wearing this costume in her role as Marie Stewart. This is a stunning costume. This second costume was created for the movie Diane de Poitiers that you can watch actually uh, on French TV. And by the way, this is the same costume designer who designed all those uh, dress and uh, costume uh, you will see in the exhibition. And as you can see, it retranscripts very well the costume uh, history. Dominique Borg was a very famous and talented costume designer for all those costumes uh, that are exhibited in this exhibition in Paris. Unfortunately, she passed away last July and this exhibition is a uh, kind of uh, an ode to her work. She actually won a mini prize for all of her work as a costume designer. And for example, this one uh, here was made for Diane de Poitiers. And the boots here were created by the talented 
and very well-known um, Christian Louboutin. And because Dominique Borg was already sick uh, when she created those costumes for Diane de Poitiers, the production of the movie uh, put a special attention and put a big budget on the costume, especially uh, for the last work of Dominique Borg. And for example, here this costume is made with um, kawe fabric. So it looks like uh, this is an old uh, fabric, but no, it's an innovative fabric and uh, it's um, special for the rain. That's the drawing of it. And during this exhibition, you can buy the drawings from the different uh, movie. You can buy also the photographies, which are, by the way, amazing. You can also purchase the sketch from the storyboard. Here is La Reine Margot storyboard with few different um, jewelry pieces. The costumes are not on sale, but uh, all the other things are on sale. And this is a beautiful uh, setting. And here it's another costume uh, and picture from Diane de Poitiers. It's very nice to compare the picture and the costume in real. And here another example between the picture and the dress in real. And to finish, that's a set from the atelier where you can see the behind the scene where all the magic happens between uh, the pattern making and uh, on the wall you have all the inspiration with uh, material uh, fabrics and picture. Another subject, Christmas window. <laughs> this one is from Christian Louboutin. And look at this cutie. <laughs> He's so cute. And there's more. There's one here. And of course, stilettos are displayed because you know, it's Christian Louboutin. And look at this cute one. So that's the end of this video. And uh, I hope you like the content. Uh, this is what I see each day. I am a very curious person, so, so I try to see quite a lot uh, day by day. So I hope you like the content. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and to subscribe. It will make me very happy and uh, it will mean, and it means a lot to me. Uh, so yeah, and I'll see you uh, very soon on Sunday. Bye bye.